this week marks one year since the mass shooting inside Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. The school district canceled classes for much of this week as they say it is out of respect and safety. Staff will take part in a professional development workday on Friday and high school graduation will happen that night with increased safety measures. Many families of the 19 children and two teachers killed are inviting visitors from all over the world to join them for a candlelight vigil and the city's mayor calls for compassion. This is not about us. This is about these families and these survivors and it's their time and it's our time to reflect on the memories of these children that lost their lives that day and the two teachers. Uvalde has canceled all city sanctioned events for this week, including its city council meeting that was set for today. In almost one year since the lives of 19 children and two teachers were taken in the Uvalde school shooting, families of victims now strongly advocating for stricter gun laws. KTSM spoke with Senator Ronald Gutierrez, who says legislators didn't listen. Some parents of the surviving children agreed to release some photos from body cam footage from that day to CNN, including one little girl who was covered in blood on the school bus. Families saying lawmakers need to see the damaging impact of guns, and Senator Gutierrez says he's been advocating for the lives lost. You don't want the adjective strong attached to your city's name. Tired of hearing El Paso strong, Uvalde strong, Odessa strong, Santa Fe strong. It's just not right what's happening. We have, we can do something to stop this without infringing on gun rights. From a policy perspective, we are broken in this country on this issue. And in this state, leads the nation in these deaths. Now he goes on to say 76% of voters and 66% of Republicans are in favor of common sense gun safety solutions. And in this legislative session, he says they have increased funding for mental health and school security.